Hi. How Labour wooed the city. Business bosses ready to embrace Starmer after Blair's style charm offensive convinces them they have nothing to fear. Hence, Tuesday's evening standard. If there was ever the last straw for any remaining socialists in the Labour Party, this was it. And exactly on cue, same day, it's been announced the formation of a new left party, Transform Politics. Left Unity, People's Alliance, the Breakthrough Party, through to Liverpool Community Independents have signed up. A video with split-second flashing imagery, thumping music, voiceover, issued by Transform, bears an uncanny resemblance to ISIS propaganda videos. All this effort for what amounts to a basic rerun of a 1945 Labour-type manifesto. Other leftist groups, organisations such as People's Assembly, Enough is Enough, have failed to line up behind this project, as have Tusk, Trade Union and Socialist Coalition. So much for left you need. A communist party ideologue has already branded the enterprise as ultra-leftist. The left, in all its variations, is hopelessly fragmented. Transform is already a dead duck as soon as it's been hatched. When it contests the next election, it will lose all its deposits, be beaten by the phony right-wing populist parties like Reform and Reclaim, themselves trailing behind the main parties. So apart from being another failed leftist group, what's the point of it all? It's a doomed enterprise, a waste of time and effort. All these disillusioned Corbynistas who join Labour in a flush of enthusiasm, along with activists, young people, militants, should try thinking and acting outside the political social democratic prison. Try forming affinity groups that reject the state and capitalism authority. Look at the history and actions of the historical anarchist working class and peasant movements for an alternative inspiration to overturn our decadent, decaying, feudal, capitalist society. Maybe most anarchists should do the same also. Bye.